However, given our timely discovery of this lading artifact in the belt, I think it might be a way to restrain the afflicted if it becomes necessary. Mm. I don't like the idea, but I'd rather not have to kill them to protect others. Lokrik just gives a hmm and goes into deep thought and Oberon just nods and takes gingerly steps around the broken cursed statue as you continue to walk towards where the party is. So basically with um, uh, with a take 20 again with the cat's grace you're able to lock the lock? Yeah. Okay. Lock the lock, Rick. What? You're able, to shock, you're able to shock the monkey? Um, I wish they lock the cow's box? Bigger. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ukrik's laughing, chuckling with Lemmy. Iximus Cal is just sitting there, coiled and watching, uh, as as the the group of you gather together. Where is the Zildin? I, I missed the Zildin somewhere. As I, as I, as I. Oh, hmm. yeah, as I. As I. Where's your home? It's your friend, Bom Bom. <laughs> That's I. Right. What did you do here? Why did you leave me, Azai? Why did you leave me? Why did you let the dragons burn a home down? <laughs> I was depending on you, Azai. You let me down. You killed me. <laughs> you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fucking Ahmed playing uh, up the fucking. All right, so <laughs> we have to cut fucking that. Bad, bad, fucking <laughs> bad as he dreams. <laughs> we we, we, we gotta cut that little clip there and just play it. Like just the audio. Play the mark. Just send it to him. Just send it to him in the fucking uh, as I know. Gmail. Where I just be like, "Hey, you should watch this." <laughs> okay. No. So Ixa basically says, um, "How will I see the?" Wolves being born. It actually gives birth using like an umbilical cord. Now you've locked the the door with the, the amazing lock. Um, can we just put a mirror? Is it like is it bars or is it a door? Like is it's it a door? Got it. I understand. I thought it was like a cage. <laughs> Use your magic. Use your magic. Use your magic. Who the hell are you? Make a hole. Uh, we make a little hole. You create birthing hole. Wait, that's not right. Little hole about this height. There is there is like a little space for like air to come through along the tops. Um, you you look around. There there might be a place for the, for XMS call to spy into, kind of look into see what's. We'd going like to have a feedy hole. Doesn't she have magic? Magic's such a she, she, she leans up and she looks in. I can sort of see through you. Okay, so so out of character, are we really breeding the apocalypse? Is that what the goal of this is? Because I, I don't know. Is that what this thing does? I I, I, does. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Well, you remember to come back frequently. Why are, why are we breeding the apocalypse, guys? I just, well, I just, we don't. Let's, let's we don't have a character. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's, it is an issue. We can't let this thing keep breeding or keep producing puppies. We know it's bad. Lucas trying to back down to normal size. I, I don't have the spells to lift. These, uh, to carry. these, the creatures it's producing. The one in your, the one that's back, back in town is not evil, but. Who knows when it grows? Like these things are like they're some kind of lycanthrope creatures, right? Dire werewolf, silver, whatever. Anyways, um, while we're here, uh, looks over at um, big ass snake. Um, do you know how to cast 
six circle spells. Specifically mislaid. <laughs> Iximiscala. Yeah. I'm not, I haven't looked at I don't I don't look at any of the NPCs. Cause I don't no. unless I'm told something, then I'm not gonna look it up. She says no. Um, and it has to be that level of spell. You're asking out of character? Yeah. I, I'm asking out of character. I'm not sure. Uh, or, I think Lemmy knows how it, it works. Doesn't I don't know. It have to be mislead. It just has to be a six circle spell, and you have to have something. You have to build a cast oh, a wait. spell that's on the chart. So that's on the. Yeah, I don't know if spell like abilities allow you to spawn stats. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know. They kind of act like spells. They're spell like. Let's play that game. Not directly. There are some that might be equivalent. Why do you ask? Well, it's, it's quite simple, really. We've got the um, Icarus carrying around the uh, the bronze disc of the Twin Gods. Yes, I'm uh, familiar with that item. And and that's kind of what we need to charge it. Yes, I can charge the item. You can charge it. I've done he, so before. Excellent. It has excellent. invisibility in it, right? Um, let me see. Mirror image, major, rainbow, mislead, disguise yep. So it's got mirror image, and then it can use its ethereal jaunt or its plane shift to... Um... No, sorry. It's ethereal jaunt. Um, spell like ability. You're a slave now. You're a slave now. <laughs> Wait, what? Excellent. Excellent. Get to here. Well, uh, Iker might as well leave the coin here for now and have uh, Iximus charge it up. How does this arrangement help God Acropolis? You're talking about the disc or you're talking about the creature that's in the... The disc. Well... The thing keeps us will help keep us alive. We're kind of guarding this place from the outside, almost. My abilities help me guard. You are asking me to use. You are asking me to tie one wing and do my job. What? I you're asking me to tie one. I didn't hear what he said. You're asking me to. Uh... Eh? She doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do it. No? You're what? asking her to use her most powerful spells to, to charge an artifact, but at the same time, she's supposed to be guarding this place. You know, just do it. Do it at night when, like, right before you get new spells. That's actually not how it works. Or do it. The bird shakes his head like. No, let somebody else tell you. You have to set it up when you prepare your spells. How does this further protecting this place? She's giving you like a chance to explain Gosh. yourself, but <coughs> here's the thing. We have not used this disc at all because we don't know how to charge it. We can't do it yet. If you can keep it charged for us, we'll we're what we're bringing, what we're planning on doing with this place is making it great again. So if we're the longer this thing helps us, the better we can, the better we can survive, and bring make it great. That it's in itself will make this place more defendable. Our goal is to, our goal is to bring this. One of our goals is to make this bring the city back to life. If you left the disc with me, I could use the disc to help me in my duties. Yes, it has many spells to help protect you. True, and but how? Trick falls. How often okay. have you been? How often have you been? Have things been here? Hey, how quick, often hey. have we used the disc? Uh, we have not used the disc. That's my point. Then let's um, take it. Oh, Iximus. Um. All right. 
how has there been any attacks or any creatures that you've seen fly from the clouds or anything like that? Irrelevant. They will occur once you start bringing people here. There will be a reason to return to Acropolis again. I see what you're saying. Those that came long ago were dissuaded from staying here long or were slain by my brothers and sisters. Once word spreads that Acropolis is safe, there will be those that come to visit, and there will be those that come to steal. Well then just don't spread the how, word, eh? How, how do they arrive? Through the gate? Is that the only way, the only means of arriving here? My duty is to guard this place. Do not include divulging its secrets. You must talk to the mother. That's fair enough. As per um, her explicit orders. Fair enough. Um, I don't see a problem leaving the coin with you. Uh, he looks at the group. Uker starts climbing the magic prison with the coin. With the what? Sorry. He just starts. He starts climbing the magic prison with the coin. Okay. Where would you like it? Where would you like Uker to put it? Um, she still really likes the, the air temple. Alright. Dukka, can you go and hide it in a good place there? Place where it... The air temple is the... Number 11. One to the... No, she was trapped out in this, in this, in this, uh, courtyard, but she still likes the temple. It's got this big panoramic opening to the, to the <clears> mountain. Alright. Yeah, uh, put it Uker's somewhere where it's not to... obvious. Alright, he climbs down to the magical person. He's going to climb up and on top of the temple. Okay. Maybe put it up on the roof. Okay, I'm going to make a little, make a little circle up there, and I mark down the. What, what is this thing called? The. Uh, the it is called the, coin the, the bronze disc of the bronze twin, disc twin gods. gods. Uh, and he has it um, Apollo up. Okay. All right. This thing. Which side do you think you want to use, Inke? She has no arms. She does not use a bow. She wants no, no, but Apollo. which side? You don't use a bow, so you'll be using Apollo's, right? I can't remember what it does. I've never used it before. If I am permitted to use this in my duties, then when you need it, you may take it, is what she says be at, be to Lemmy as she flies over. Excellent deal. Thank you. You guys willing to leave behind the 80,000 gold piece staff um, to help her? She's willing to make that deal. Sure. No, no diplomacy check. Um, you guys just saying, hey, just recharge this thing for us. Sounded like, oh, you're just going to use me as a spell battery. <laughs> and then leave me oh, yeah. weaker to do my job. Nope, nope, no deal. <laughs> okay. uh, Alright. Um, well, since we're here, you fellas care to go and finish off the rest of that dungeon? See what else is near? In that globe? If there isn't anything else, I will continue my fly around. <clears throat> Perfect. Thank you. Um, you have our thanks, Exomacala. She goes and she actually like curls around the disc for a little bit just to have a look at it and then seems to be um, whatever she looked at and she seems to be happy with and then begins to fly her very public in view... <laughs> Uh, yeah. circle around. She's going really slow in a really gliding circle. She might even be avoiding you at this point. Um, should we ask Petra about the lycanthropy? And how to cure it? How to contain it? I'm not a fan of asking Petra about anything, says Azzy. Yeah, I know, but... I think that was Mark's stance. He didn't like the... He didn't like her, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, uh, but we still don't know nothing. I mean, Oberon helped us quite a bit with finding, you know, the wolf She bang, but knows many things. She I, is powerful. Work. If if there's a chance of her of of some of us doing something else to save Uker and and Lokrik from a fate that nobody wants, then I think it's I think I mean shit it's, it's, it's a fate we don't even have. Are you waiting to Hmm. 
Well, I'll only do it if you if you all agree. Or somebody can do it. I think it's our only choice at this point. Okay. All right. Let's let's go over. So you guys are heading over towards the. Uh... Yeah, Lemmy's gonna hop onto Uker's head. <laughs> oh, puppy! Too late. <laughs> Just think of him. <laughs> like he goes to check. <laughs> Just think of him as a very well-developed puppy. What happens to poop? <laughs> uh, yeah. He's so uh, small. It's little tiny. <laughs> this little tiny comes out small pigeon, like a shitty <laughs> human-sized crap. It is the question for the ages. Um... <laughs> Philosophers have lived and died. This question. <laughs> Wars have been fought. <laughs> Wars have been fought <laughs> over the great pooping. Poop. Mages have died. Over this. <laughs> it is human-sized. No, it's animal-sized. Ethan. <laughs> Oh, the principles of conservation of mass decree. <laughs> it's probably when the spell effect ends all the things that came off of you. Probably you turn into an insect, make a little insect crap in somebody's cereal. <laughs> that's a <horrible> <laughs> <laughs> Start crying because it's the only reaction that's that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. Awesome. It's the only reaction that's appropriate at this that's point. Awesome. In time. <laughs> oh, <how laughs> scatological. Um, um, so yes, uh, should we go and talk to her now? Oh, Petra. Pe where is Petra? She's sure. in the Here, I'll just move to Petra. <laughs> oh, you you kind of left her in the corner. She's in the water area, isn't she? Nope, she's right here. She's in the guardhouse. Oh, she's the guard in the guardhouse. I think she's facing the corner. <laughs> she was being rude, so she. Yep. Did you put a tarp right. over her, or I think you put a tarp over her? Yeah, I think we put a tarp. Yeah, we put a tarp. Okay, let me go see. and 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 touch her with the, with his touch, like touch it with his talon, and I'm or a, like a claw, and I'm not um, gonna let her read my mind free. So I want to try to protect myself from her. Give me a second. Okay. You actually hear her saying stuff when you uh, when you touch her. Which she was talking about mass before. Yeah, I assume. Masses planets can cause slight tidal distortions to their host stars. When a star is slightly ellipsoid shape, its apparent brightness varies, depending if the oblate part of the star is facing the observer's point of view. Like with the relativistic beaming method, it helps to determine the minimum mass of the planet, and its sensitivity depends on the planet's orbitable inclination. The intent of the effect of the star's apparent brightness can be much larger than with the relativistic beaming method, but with the brightness changing cycle is twice as fast. In addition, the planet distorts the shape of the star more if it has a low semi-major axis to the stellar radius ratio and the density of the star is low. This makes this method suitable for going cross planets around stars <laughs> that have left the main sequence. Hello? Holy shit, women! <laughs> That's fantastic. You've been reading. You've been reading a lot. How are you? Yes, this library is fascinating. An annex of the great library called the Archive of Lost Lore. That's quite a bit of information about. Well, it's sad. Planets. Really. It means the people that wrote this long ago are no longer. Hmm, that's unfortunate. But at least they've kept their they've kept their knowledge. It's lived? Well, no. Now that it's my lot knowledge, it is no longer available in the library. But you, can, you still have it. It still exists? Yes. So, um, things have been going fairly well, all right. But I do have a question for you regarding something called lycanthropy. It appears that... Uh, do you know... Do you know growth? Do you know... If, Someone called Grolf. And let me... Grolf? Right. He's a um, wolf uh, hunter. Uker's going to poke the thing. He must have... Okay, so he must join the conversation. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, Give me your will Uker. save. Uh, let me, you said you were guarding your mind. Uker yes, just I went am. over and touched it? Or... Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I've opened her my mind up to her before. I don't okay. I haven't seen the compunction of her seeing mobile. Oh. Uh, Lemmy's just Lemmy's just on the after being attacked at night, he's been a bit on guard. Yep. Hmm. Um okay. Marty, sorry, I just came up with a very interesting idea. Is it possible that I can learn spells from her? Maybe. Research spells from her? Maybe. I bet she'd teach you a hell of a petrification spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this a fear, despair, or illusion? Or just uh, a straight This is not a safe? fear, despair, or illusion. No. Okay. Uh, uh, give me a second. Let, let me finish. Let, let, let me roll. Yeah, 24. Okay, so you've got your mind guarded. At least you okay, think you do. Yeah. Okay. She, she said, oh, who's there? And then you, you had to say Lemmy, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, oh, hello, Uka. Uh, hello, Petra. You can feel uh, her smile. <coughs> like, you can feel like a just a smile in your in your mind. Uh, um, I hope we haven't been too long. Been what's too much? Oh, I have much to read here. Endless, in fact. Interesting. Um. This, so yeah, our our two friends Uker and Lolkrik were bitten by a werewolf, and I think they may be infected. We took the team. We should be okay. Um, well, they drank a tea cult with that it was used rude using Wolfsbane. And we're just wondering, is there anything else that we can do to prevent the they haven't changed yet, but I believe the full moon is maybe a week a week, a week away. It comes in many forms. And it is an affliction on many worlds. Right. The key to getting rid of it is to have someone cast a heal spell upon the victim within three days of being bit. We are days. It's been longer than that. A lot longer. <laughs> it's been a few days. It's been a lot longer than that. Just a bit. And even then, it must be of priest or divine source that is powerful enough to break the curse. Yeah, I know these spells. The Eventually you might be able to do that. Yes. You said werewolf. Wolfsbane. Correct. That yeah. may help, but there is no guarantee. Um, do you know of uh, schools that here? I've given the close proximity of Acropolis to Vosgard via the Featherstone Gate. Yes, I do know something about that pantheon. Uh, sh sh we brought her here. A She's current. A strange amount of parallelism between that pantheon and that of the Olympians. Mm. Alright. Let me add that to his knowledge. Religion. Mind you, <laughs> between two dysfunctional families, I suppose a lot of comparisons can be made. Uh, we put her in the... And, and Uker, you remember, like, there was flashes from your own memory of, like, all the arguments that you saw when you were a child between couples and family members and yelling at your own like, table and yeah, witnessing yeah. your friend across from the other yurt, you know, like like yeah. yelling, you know, that sort of thing. Hey! hey. <laughs> Woo! Um. Hmm. Alright. We brought her here. Skulls, Dot. <clears throat> well, we brought the skeleton of her. It's, it's not it's, animate. It's... But it is alive. Dr. Skull, the wolf that would eat the sun. It's pretty big, but I don't think it would eat the sun. 
It is still it is giving birth to puppies right now. <laughs> One let me wonder if she can tell that he's smiling. Yep. As a bird. Uh, kind of like oh, we're smiling. In, we don't know in what your the head, fuck we yeah, did. Emotion seem to seem to uh um, go through. Yep. <sighs> yeah, anything about this? Was skulls Sibling. And Hati was supposed to eat the moon. Of course, there are many moons. Probably more moons than there are worlds. But still, a missing moon on a world would wreak such destruction. What? What do you mean missing? How could it go missing? I'm sorry, you've lost me. I'm not uh, as knowledgeable as you are. If you have a cookie, and then you eat the cookie, the cookie is missing. And that's what I have to deal with. So, can you... <laughs> she is, she, she smiles almost in a motherly way towards Uker. And you got a brief moment of, of like your grandmother chubbing your cheek because you did something good when you were young. Yeah. Um, the wolf ate the moon. Sure. The wolf, this big ass wolf that eats the moon. It's gone. Fucking got it. Sure, so now what? Um, In fact, the Vosgardians, they have already lost one of their moons. How? Long ago. Hey, there's a mark online. Long ago, Volskart had two moons. And How long ago? It's hard for me to tell. Right, of course. But from the time that I was placed in stone, from your accountings, it was in the time... Of the John Landers. John Landers. The time so when the Vosgardians first learned how to bend iron. Is that before the Jotun? They would have done battle with the Jotun. This is before the Voslanders. How did that moon get... How is it lost? What happened Hattie to it? He ate it. Ate the cookie. Shit, you actually meant it literally. Alright. <laughs> Still getting used to this level of power, you see. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's some other explanation, but it is the only thing that I know from the perspective of those that were learning how to discard copper and bronze and bending metal. I understand. Um, it's okay. what the story is. I've never been able to have the perspective enough to learn if that is true. It didn't destroy the world. It was not something that I ever looked into. There are too many stories. Right. Mm. But you say you have Skull's daughter here. Yes. Uh, in the prison. Are you worried about her escaping? Um, she is kind of stuck in a big storm. The prison is a it's hedge. You cannot teleport out of it or reach other worlds from inside that box. That's really good to know. She uh, makes baby. Little baby wolf. Still. She makes puppies. Oh. Used like, like gives birth. But she's a skeleton. It's very confusing. I imagine so. Mm. Yet you keep the, what you've seen from me, Lemmy. How am I supposed to deduce what it is that you want to know without me seeing what you've seen? 
Uh, my, apol my apologies. Is, uh, I've had a near-death experience very recently, and I've kind of been on guard <laughs> ever since. <laughs> do you drop, uh, he's do gonna... you drop your guard? Uh, can I drop it selectively to certain things? You can try. Oh, dear. Mm. What do I not want to share with her? That time you did that thing when you first got the wild shape with the other Whoa. thing. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I can't unsee. <laughs> uh, sure, sure. I'll let her. I'll let her. Uh, I'll. I'll. I'll open. I'll open it up. Okay. Interesting. Um. And then she turns to Uker. It's like you, you get a sense that she's looking at you first kind of seeing the chamber and the crazy nook of evil. And then and then she kind of rifles through your memories almost like she's looking through like a bunch of folders very quickly. Yeah. And then pulls out one and she's actually watching you shape the stone and then she, she kind of like doesn't understand what you guys are doing and then she shifts over to Uker. And then Uker's yeah, plans. Uker's <laughs> plans about yeah, I'm gonna lift the rock. I'm gonna lift the rock. And then him like just fucking plowing this rock through the wilderness. And then and then um, she gets that Uker was kind of disappointed because he didn't bring the rock through. And then the rock was brought through by Galath. And then you know, all the yeah. way up to you bringing it to the here. I am the hero here. See her comment. You really Yeah, Mark. We didn't know what time you were gonna you were gonna hop online. So um, I, I didn't need it. That's why I said like, and I. Was okay. apparently quite correct. That's o'clock. exactly. <laughs> okay. See, I was right. That's exactly what I predicted would happen. Um, so basically, to catch you up to speed, um, you guys stood around. Uh, you put the belt on Uruk Cho, and then right. realized, you realized the charm of lighting might o might only have a number of uses per day because you couldn't really control Uruk Cho that day. Okay. And then you tried to bring the big ass freaking wolf thing through the gate. Uker failed. Like he he, te he teleported, but but the thing didn't come. But then Galath used a hero point to teleport the to teleport the big rock through. And now you guys are in Acropolis. You stuck the um, you stuck the body. If you're on map tools, uh, yeah. or on ancient Acropolis, they stuck the the, um, the fossilized skeleton of Skulls Gautier into the magical prison. Uh, you made a deal with Iximus Kala. Is it, you you lent the bronze disc of the twin gods to Iximus Kala? Because uh, she apparently can recharge it, but she okay. wasn't she wasn't willing to just recharge it and let you guys have it. She said, "I'm not going to use up my most powerful spells when I'm supposed to guard." Um, so you guys kind of said, "Well, you go, you take it for now. Um, we'll come back and probably use it later." Uh, and then um, uh, you were talking to Petra, and Petra is basically invading Uker in Lamio's mind. No, we're invading her mind. Let's let's be clear. Petra here. Said we're the she, invaders. Petra said that she was reading from the archive of lost lore and annex of the great library, and she mentioned something along the lines that all the lore that is forgotten is in this library. She was reading That's... a passage on astrophysics that I might have read before. It's very familiar. I can't remember what book it's from. <laughs> It's called That's light the variations library it, ever. It's called <laughs> light variations due to ellipsoidal variations. <laughs> I take it back. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Lemmy and, cool. and Uker can make a DC forty knowledge arcana check to really understand what it is she was talking about. Oh, DC forty. Uh, I will see how dumb I am. I am eleven dumb. <laughs> You understood some of the words, just not how they fit together. <laughs> it's about Uker circles. Heavy things. It's about circles, and the circles aren't round. <laughs> and you, heard, you heard the word big, and tides, oh. and, <laughs> and there we circles. Go. If and your hey, circle bitches. is big enough, if you have a big thing, tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, and then Lemio, <laughs> do you have knowledge or canon? Yeah, I do. Uh, me uh, is is knowledge nature? Does that cover? Um, uh, I can use knowledge. Uh, nature. I don't I think believe so. I it's think nature for uh, because it's sort of a there's one that can use for navigation. Study. Uh, planets might be under knowledge nature. Just give me a second. I can give you nature, arcana. 
I was surprised at this, but it might be a much, like a more advanced version of knowledge. Knowledge of nature for physics? Not for physics, for uh, Time. for planetology or something like that. I can make an argument that knowledge religion is the correct skill for that. Yeah, yeah. Making an argument that my penis knows everything. What did it might you, not be a very good argument, but it'll be did, an argument, damn it. What did Jupiter do this week? Yeah. It dangled a little bit to the left. <laughs> that means something. Write it down. Uh, it actually doesn't list astrology under the main skill list. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, I just asked the ca ca uh, Catholic Church. They were all about <laughs> astrology. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they got some of it right. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of it wrong for a very long time. Okay. Um, yeah, let me own t and, and uh, are talking to Uker. So uh, she claims that w there's a story that goes that uh, uh, Vosgard had two moons and then, yes, Hattie ate one of the moons long ago. And I think that's where, and you guys showed her some of like what you brought with Skulls Dot here. She says interesting. Uh, in check? I don't know what she's talking about. That's knowledge. Make a DC forty. DC forty knowledge check. Go. It's the same roll. It's plus seven, anyways. PG. Uh, yeah, he was streaming No Man's Sky yesterday. I watched for about ten minutes, and it's kind of like a game that see, looks like it's only fun if you're the one playing. Um, and he wasn't. My chatting. wife watched me play and said it was the most boring thing she'd ever seen. <laughs> right. No. It's right. Colorful. So. Um, yeah, it's the kind of thing you can zone out to and just kind of like, wow, cool. And and then kind of like, hey, I'm going to sell a bunch of shit. Oh, wow, cool. But you can name, like, planets you discovered stuff, like Planet Pee Pee. <laughs> <laughs> Does your naming of the planet affect other people's... Um, no, if someone else finds it, if someone else finds that planet... Your planet, the planet species, pee -pee. <laughs> whatever you no. name. Whatever you no. name. No, all of the multiplayer shit they were talking about... Never actually made it into the game. Uh, okay. Which is really uh, shitty. Mark is fighting that ship with great aggression. How dare my PP planets not be PP? I know, that's why I want to play the game, so I could name, like, Hello, you are a dick monster. That's probably so why they didn't, uh... will only be discovered <laughs> That's not a good reason. <laughs> The, the breaking um, the like I, I'm naming everything really cool and then and then it's like Dick Planet four two seven because <laughs> <laughs> no I, I tried to you can't rename anything after you've oh, done no. it <laughs> so I okay, would just let's, let's keep naming everything different versions of Uranus just just different Uranus minus Uranus <laughs> Uranus Uranus Prime <laughs> all the Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> Uh, um, okay, so... So yeah, you're talking to Petra. You're, you're asking her about Skulls Dot here. What is it that you yeah. want from me? Uh, well, if she doesn't know anything about it, then he, then it's like, fine. Um, I just want to know... She, she, she raises an eyebrow to you, like, like really? Do, like, to me? Yeah, to, to you. To Lemmy? Yeah. Yeah, like, well, if, if, all, if all you know is just what the... If you if you don't have any external information beyond what the people already know, then it's I don't I don't think we're gonna you you'll be able to give us that much more, because we've already gone if through you this. Freed me, I could try to speak to it. Well, uh, what if we poke you two together? We we are trying to free you. We need to find the rest of your two of them. <coughs> Um, I'm. Uh, it's pretty scary. Let me thinking about this. It is it's a like, woman, hmm. and lycanthropy as an affliction is strongest through women. The more diluted lycanthropy lines, at least those that come from Fenris, <laughs> the stronger the lines are through the women. I told you I'm okay. I was bit by a man. <laughs> Yeah, who's directly bitten by well, the offspring of Fenris. Get, no, get a that grip. would not be diluted enough. You were bitten by whom? 
she's looking towards you and, and actually gets you to forcibly you replay the, 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 the arm wrestling match, just the end of it when he starts savaging your neck. Beat, beat his ass. You actually, I, you I, actually, I try to rewind, rewind a little bit so I can be winning. <laughs> you, you actually, uh, you actually um, uh, feel the pain again. Uh, no, they're not on Minecraft world. They're, uh, we're just super zoomed in. They are in a place called Acropolis, which is essentially a very empty Mount Olympus. Uh, <laughs> Minecraft world uh, that they that they found in. Yeah, we were That's just zoomed funny. in really close to where the tokens. Yeah, I can were. I can see that. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> we're zoomed in. They're That's talking. Right. They're talking to a statue of a of a um, a beautiful Medusa that actually can talk in their minds when they're when they're touching the statue. Uh, her name is Petra or Petra Fira. Um, and if they remove her statue, if her snakes get removed from her body, they turn into different snake-like creatures, um, which they defeated in episodes like, I don't know, 12, 13. Yeah. And return to the mother. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um. I'll say, okay, well, I have, I have one more question. As a creature who is from a family with strong bloodlines... As a creature who belongs to the family of Gorgon, the one that is bitten by this Grolf is very well afflicted and would make you the great-grandchild of Fenrir. Let me face bombs. By blood. Or by curse, I suppose. That's so you're I saying a, a cup of hemlock might not cover it then. <laughs> oh, Isildin's gonna go over and join the. Are you? Okay, you're touching the statue now, Isildin. Kind of for the last part. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, um, I'm, in, I'm uh, chewing. Yeah, that's fine. Hello, Isildin. Don't worry, I sensed you lingering there. With your judgments. Yeah, still judging. <laughs> so, uh. She smiles at you in the same way that somebody who's holding better cards than, than another person might do. <laughs> Sitting across the table from you. He's thinking about, like, Carving out her eyes right now. <laughs> Just... <laughs> All right. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, so um, give me a will was... save, Zilda. Right. Enchantment effect. Yes. All right. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about in the chat. <laughs> Let me your energy. Let me your bandwidth. <coughs> Hang on a sec. There we go. That's 13. all the key energy from 31. Okay. She, you felt her kind of like this this strange snaky tendril kind of like wisp up against your your um uh, your mind's forehead almost. Uh and mm. and you you snapped it away. She, she was probing for something, is kind of the... Uh, yeah, he's kind of like, uh, was like a fly, like, yep. whatever. Okay. <laughs> so you, you're you saying... Can, you can see that she's amused with, with Azildan. Like, you could tell for a moment that she was really paying attention to Azildan. Now her attention kind of shifts back to everyone. So you're suggesting perhaps a cup of hemlock might not cover uh, getting rid of his lycanthropy? No. Well, it's a good thing we did wolf name. It's got wolf written name. Wolfbane likely would solve the problems. And she kind of, she catches a glimpse from Uker the barbarians in the cave. And there was a moment where you saw yourself and Lokrik get bit. In about a, like a 30 second span, you guys were getting bit in the cave. Likely that solved the problem. 
But this, and she makes Uker relive the pain again. Ah! 40 damage to my neck! Yeah. <laughs> this is much more of a concern. You're welcome. And the your welcome was aimed at Azildan and Lemio. Remember, she agreed to share information with you guys, but... Mm -hmm. um, it was also an exchange for taking steps to <laughs> helping her get free, and I don't yeah. know if you've... Really done yeah, yeah. That. We've been busy! <laughs> we don't know where the... Where's the Super Hydra? Uh, she doesn't exactly provide us a clear And you're how old, lady? Like, you can't wait a couple more months, really? Like, I don't know we're how not ready. We're not ready to, we're not ready to take, world, to take care of the... But we've got this five-year uh... plan. If you take too long, we got to <laughs> reform it, and then it just... Do you want to buy insurance? I, I'm sorry. It's just not going to work out, you know? I mean... Um, quick question. Um, to her. Do you know about the, uh, the underground... Passages in the um, the great hall. There's a there's a large atlas statue there. And there's a man in the bubble with the little silver thing. Yes, the inner sanctum. The previous lords of this place have always dwelled there. It is a place where great men and great minds have done their work, and previous rulers of this place have sat upon their important seats and acted as such. There are other secrets in that inner sanctum that you should very much pay attention to. <sighs> their toys are down there. Are you familiar with these toys? The artifacts of the predecessors. A most important and impressive use of magic. Do not break this statue, she says to Uger. Wrong person to talk to. <laughs> you, you, you hear her, all those that are touching her, but she's, yeah. she's basically yeah. telling the, the guy who moves around multi hundred thousand pound blocks don't I know, break the I'm statue. Just, I'm just <laughs> yep. joking about the fact that I'm the statue uh, breaker around here. And she's um she's you get the sense that she's fascinated and um um both frightened and bewildered when, when she's thinking about who possibly built the thing in the other room. And there's mm. a series of words that, that cross through her mind almost whispered in awe. The Ring of the Gods. Duker makes sense. If you're a god, you could be a big ass mother at that giant 30 foot thing. That should, sure, that could be a ring. Do we have to climb up the god, fucking God of War style, and like stab him in the fucking fingernail? Punch him right in the. Bloody hell, I was on mute. Um, the, the Ring of the Gods, is that from another campaign? No. Yes, but no. Um, okay. If Lemmy's, this is the first time he hears it, he's like, alright, Ring of the Gods, alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did not have a character that was keeping this a secret from you for months and months and months. Uh, for those that are watching, yes, it might have been an artifact that I dropped hints about in past campaign or two, and they never figured it out. They never... I... Never... That's not entirely true. One character knew much so, yes, more than the others. Those pensive look on their faces, Peachy, was, was very... Uh, I was watching those too. I was amused. <laughs> We're really gods. I have no idea what that is. Jack Baldur? Who's that? Doesn't matter. Don't ask questions. <laughs> we'll just ignore that whole plot line. Yes, we will. Don't ask questions. <laughs> For about eight levels. <laughs> <laughs> For about eight levels. Be careful. Yes. Those that meddle with the Ring of the Gods can lose themselves. <laughs> what are these things? What are these rings? One ring to rule them all. <laughs> Don't make me say the whole thing. 
Are they here? Where are these rings? She's, um... There should be very few dangers down there left if you took care of the Guardian. Although... The ring itself... I'm getting I'm getting uh, messages from all the players or almost all the players at this point in time. <laughs> no, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say if this is the rain of the gods was, <laughs> yes. this is the rain of the gods was the whole fucking time. Like, I'm a little sour about that because I had invested some resources into finding it <laughs> <laughs> on the wrong fucking world, apparently. <laughs> wrong campaign, asshole. Well, Son of. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Just check. You don't know what it is yet. <laughs> we don't know what it is. We don't even know what world we're on. Exactly. We don't know. So, all right. Well, the other the other question I wanted to ask you there's there's the uh, world, the pl planet or world map that is on Atlas's back. Do you know how to work it to choose different planets to see different planets? I can't decipher the codes. I don't know how to change. The, answer that, the answers that you seek are not with the statue. Right, it's in the other room. Damn it! Alright, uh, I'll do it okay. myself. <laughs> alright. Um, you can feel her smiling at you. Yeah, alright. Bad bitch. Thanks for nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Uker doesn't have this. Uker yeah. fine with. Uker feels. Uker me... feels like like the Nagaji who basically let you figure things out on your own because yeah. you're supposed to kind of like stumble over the equation a few times before you get it right. You have yeah. that. Ex you have that exact feeling because she's not in a Zildin and and Lemio's mind. She's able to project. She's able to bring that memory. She's not being coy. She's trying to play teacher. She spends her time yeah. reading from some lost library. She's a scholar. Yeah. 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 Well, Lemmy gets it. He's like, we got shit to do! She wouldn't be the first scholar we've killed. Alright, um... <laughs> he's... <laughs> right. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, Don't get busy with me, NPC. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have magic swords. Alright. Um, all right, well, I'll just let you guys talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'm going to grab some caffeine and take a, a bio break. Um. <laughs> all right, so let me let me just going to let go over and I, say. I, all right. I take great pleasure in playing the lawful good character and then out of character being a fucking asshole. Do you guys? Uh, do you guys want to head back to the uh, to the dungeon and just figure out what else is there? Trying yeah, to I out think I think if we have nothing more pressing to do, which I don't think we really honestly do, I think that's a good idea. Um... Let's get our predecessor's shit. It'll be awesome. Oh, <laughs> that and just make sure that our fucking back door is covered. That's what I'm really concerned about. Is coming back and being like, where did this army of demons come from? Oh, look, they were living underneath our bedroom the entire time. Hmm. How unfortunate. <clears throat> <laughs> Mark, you asshole. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll chop him into fucking pieces. Slicing <laughs> ribbons. Mark, Mark sends me a message that says, My new backup PC is Mulgrimir! <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh. No. <laughs> True Gestalt Mythic Mulgrimir. Uh, I'm oh, certain that uh, Mulgrimir and Uker would probably get along. Probably, yeah, actually. I'm an asshole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm an even bigger asshole. Excellent. That's uh, funny, you're an asshole. <laughs> I am also an asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it is. So it is. So, uh, so is it possible that Magnus's father came from this place? Pretty certain it is. It's possible yeah. from a meta standpoint. We don't actually know the answer to that question, but maybe, sure, why not? Okay. We've got the Bakum myth. Okay. Right. I mean, there's there's enough 
There's plenty of reason to think that might be the case. I, I just don't know that it actually is. Uh, so uh, I'm going to ask you one more time about the, about the invisible Christopher Walken. Invisible Christopher Walken. <laughs> knows who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking invisible Christopher Walken. Um, the modify plus 700. You have to understand. I go first you're, you're every round about, uh, about the strange outsider with the black wings, with the weird suit, nah, and uh, nah, yeah. and the and the lighter. He's known on some worlds as Zakanda. So should we let him out of the bubble? He was okay. cast out of the heavens. For meddling in mortal kind. And you actually get this scene of like angels battling and two armies of angels and his side kind of losing and then him kind of falling from skies and falling through planes. Uh, but then the denizens of the lower planes did not like his machinations and they kicked him out as well. Be distracted by John. Ask him. <laughs> um, so, who put him in the bubble? The previous lords needed some information. In the same way that you're greedy for easy answers. That is for you too. And they tricked him. <laughs> They found a way to call him using his true name. Hmm. And he's resided here since. How do we break the bubble? Oh, I would not do that. At least, hmm. please free me first before you do that. Okay. Uh... You wouldn't happen to know where your other heads went. No new insights from the book. I can give you the name of my world. It would be a good place to start. It would be useful. Give me a second as my open a file <laughs> and now I've got to find it in this massive list control F Medusa 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 they likely reside on one of three places. Sidonia, Gaul, or Abba Cosmos. We have not come across those names yet. These three worlds were once united by the Abacasian Democratia. And before that, before the time of the gods, the Titans did rule there. Yeah. Uh, You've never heard of these places. She's talking about three different worlds. This might take time. <laughs> These three worlds know the name Golgan. And you will be led to my family as terrible and powerful as they are. My family likely could help you in finding my children 
or perhaps my children were drawn to them, as Gorgon blood now flows through all of their veins. Oh, do we... Any 